Hey everyone, I'm Joel Green and welcome to Curiosity Quest, the show that explores what you, the viewer, are curious about. Now today, our quest letter came to us from Southgate, California. Elias wrote, Dear Joel, I'm curious all about NASCAR race cars and how they make them go so fast. Well, Elias, we have a special show for you today because we have made our way out to the heart of race cars here in North Carolina where we are at Junior Motorsports and we're going to learn all about race cars and why and how they make them go so fast. So let's get started on today's Curiosity Quest. We're in Race City, USA, out here in Mooresville, North Carolina, and I'm here with Kelly Earnhardt. And Kelly, first of all, what an honor to be out here. Yeah, we're glad to have you here. I don't know a whole lot about NASCAR, race car, anything, so I'm hoping you can fill in a lot of the blanks. Well, we're definitely gonna get you educated, for sure. Let's start off by telling us a little bit about Junior Motorsports. Well, Junior Motorsports, um, we've been racing NASCAR, the Nationwide Series, which is their second tier series, since 2006. We've been pretty successful. We've finished third in the points championship several times. On Sundays, is that the Cup Series or is there? Yep. So that's the big, big Cup, right? Right. So Sunday is um, the NASCAR Cup Series, and that's the series that Dell Jr., who owns part of Junior Motorsports, actually races in um, in the number 88 car. And then Saturday, this is their second tier series. So um, these are the guys that are, you know, the up and coming want to be in the Sunday show. And they race on Saturday, and um, you know there's 43 of them out there. How did you guys go about starting your company? Well, I mean, obviously we've been in racing all of our life since our dad is Dale Earnhardt, and um, you know the kids may uh, have known him by that famous number three black car on the racetrack. So, Kelly, tell us what are we going to see today? Well, we're going to go in and show you how the cars are built, and mm -hmm. um, you know what it takes to put them on the racetrack, and just all about the the makings of a nationwide team and how we get from from the beginnings of a car and put it on the racetrack to make it go fast. All right, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Cool. Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Here's your fun fact. Did you know that the NASCAR acronym stands for National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing? I say that five times fast. First question I need to ask you, Kelly, I'm sure you get this all the time, but are we going to see uh, Dale Jr. anytime soon? <laughs> no, Dale's actually racing. It's a Friday, so um, so uh, they're in, in race market today. The other thing I want to ask you was, obviously your dad raced. How about your grandparents? Do they race? Yeah, this is actually, uh, we're, Dale will be the third generation driver. Um, our grandfather, Ralph Earnhardt, was a racer in the 50s and 60s, and um, and then our dad started racing in the 70s, mm -hmm. and um, and now Dale, and and who knows who's next? Yep. I, I have it. a 12-year-old daughter who races goat karts, so uh -oh. <laughs> she could be our fourth generation driver. There we go. Yep. Well, and for all of you race car fans out there, I I know you're probably thinking he didn't know that. What? Sorry, sorry. All right, this is really cool. This is my first time in here. What are we looking at? <laughs> well, this is um, our fab department. Um, fabrication is referred to, and um, our body shop, and, and this is kind of where it starts. So obviously, the uh, cars don't start with logos and labels on. Right, this is a template. This is a NASCAR template. Okay. Um, our body has to fit the measurements of this template. So everywhere this has a point, our car has to touch it. Are, are both sides of the car, both doors on the car, are they built the same? Yep, this this is what they call the greenhouse, which is where the driver's located. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the area that we really focus on safety-wise. Why don't they have doors that open? Why do they have to jump through the window? I've never asked that question myself, but I'm gonna guess that it has to do with safety. I'm gonna walk over to the back of the car and Where's the back of the car? <laughs> this is the back of the car, and they haven't put the tail on yet, or obviously the sides, but this is where your fuel cell is going to sit, and mm -hmm. where they gas the car um, when they're doing pit stops. Yeah, no <laughs> trunk or anything like that? Or? No trunk, yep. no, okay. can't open the trunk, just... can't haul anything around with you. That's <laughs> you, illegal. <laughs> are there weight requirements that a car has there to... There are. You know, every driver is sized differently. What they do is they put lead, they put tungsten in the car, and they put that in the frame rails, 
And so they can put as much as that as they need to to compensate for the driver's weight or as little as they need.